the previous video, I presented Wikipedia dbSCAN algorithm and its step-by-step -step walkthrough using an example point set. In this video, I'll present an implementation of dbSCAN using C++. I will test the implementation on the same example point set. This is Khaled and welcome to dbSCAN implementation in C++. On the left side of the screen, I have dbSCAN pseudo algorithm from Wikipedia and on the right side, the point set example. I will start with testing the implementation and afterwards, I will go through the implementation step by step. dbSCAN receives point set as input and retains the cluster and noise labels. First, I will put the point set in context and define the points in a Cartesian coordinate system. The expected output is as the figure shows. The points in green in the first quarter Q1 belong to the cluster number 2. The points in blue in the third quarter Q3 belong to the cluster number 1. The points in red in the second and fourth quarters Q2 and Q4 are noise. And now we can go ahead and call the dbSCAN algorithm testing code. I'll store the point set in a stood vector of points, where point is a data structure of the coordinates x, y. Then we need to define the disfunc argument. I use a lambda expression which takes two points. I'll retain the Euclidean distance between them. Max distance argument, eps, which is equals 4, and the minimum number of points, min points, equals 3. And finally, call the dbSCAN function on the point set to get the point labels. The return labels are stored in a vector of integers called labels. The two vectors, db and labels, have the same size. An element at index i from the db vector represents a point. An element at the same index i from the labels vector represents the label of that point. And here I have the points along with the labels. As we can see, cluster 1 had the points in the third quarter. Both x and y coordinates are negative. Cluster 2 has points in the first quarter. Both x and y coordinates are positive. The cluster minus 1 represents the noise points. And now let's see how C++ did that. Here again, I have the dbSCAN pseudo code, and I will go step by step and see the equivalence code in C++ to incrementally build the full dbSCAN template function. Before starting, however, some initial setup is needed. Here I will use 0 to represent points which are undefined yet. Minus 1 will be used to represent noise points. Define the labels vector which will be returned at the end as the final output. The label vector has the same size as the point set db and all elements initialized to undefined. dbSCAN would be implemented as function template parameterized with the dist func just like the Wikipedia pseudocode version. And here is the template function signature. The input parameters vector of points db, template parameter dist func, maximum distance eps, and min points. And let's get started. Initialize the cluster counter. Loop over all the points in the point vector. I will refer to points using their index p. Check if the labels vector at index p is undefined. Call the range query function to get the neighbors of the point db at p. We will look at range query implementation soon, but for now we assume it's given and it returns a vector of indexes of the neighbor points. If the neighbor vector size is less than min points, assign the noise label to the point under test and continue. Otherwise, a new cluster needs to be created, hence increment the cluster counter. Assign the cluster counter to the label of the point under test. For this step, I ignore the creation of the seed set since the exclusion of the point P will be handled in the inner loop. The highlighted code on the right is to pick a neighbor point from the neighbor's vector. We access the back element from the neighbor vector and then remove it from the vector. If the neighbor point is labeled as noise, relabel it as cluster counter. If the point neighbor is defined, continue. 
For example, the point P, which we did not exclude from the neighbor vector, will be excluded at this point from further processing. Label the neighbor point as the cluster counter. Get neighbors of neighbor by calling range query. If the size of neighbors of neighbor is larger or equal to min points, then we extend the neighbors vector with the neighbors of neighbor vector. For that purpose, I implemented a simple function called setUnion, which is merely a rubber of the standard library std setUnion function. Soon I'll show you that function, but before that, let me finish the last step of dbscan algorithm. Finally, we return the vector of labels as output. I used this vector, for example, to print the labels on the console as you have already seen at the beginning of this video. And that's the end of the algorithm, but before ending the video, I'll present the two functions I promised to talk about, setUnion and range query. In dbscan implementation on the right, setUnion was used to get the union of two vectors. I mentioned already that setUnion is only a rubber of the standard template library std setUnion. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And we move on to range query function. On the right, I have the dbscan algorithm and the range query highlighted in black. Range query is quite simple function, as we can see on the left. It gets the point vector, the point for which we are looking for neighbors, epsilon and template parameter distance function. It loops over all the points, calculate the distance between every point and the point under test. If the distance is less than epsilon, then it belongs to the neighbor vector and it gets pushed back to the neighbor vector. And when done with all the points, return the vector of neighbors. Finally, let's see how we can call the range query template with different distance functions using lambda expressions. On the left, I have the range query template, and on the right, two lambdas, which calculate the distance between two points, but each uses a different metric. The first one uses the Euclidean distance metric, and the second one uses Manhattan distance metric. This was a walkthrough implementation of dbscan algorithm in C++. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'll present sorting algorithms in C++.